Hey everybody, I am Faith and today I wanted to share with you all a little bit about how much I made during my first three months as a virtual assistant. Obviously this is my personal experience so I can't speak for everybody. I don't know if I'm average but I just wanted to share like really where I found my clients, how many I found, how much I charge them, and hopefully this will help somebody out there who's interested in becoming a virtual assistant. So let's go. So I became a virtual assistant starting in January of 2021. I was really interested in becoming a virtual assistant because I really wanted something I could do on the side of my full-time job and earn some extra income. And I like the idea that it's remote. So I started my business with the intention of doing like social media marketing and maybe adding in some video editing. So that's where I started <laughs> in January and it has, changed a lot since then already and my first client that I got was through Facebook and that was just by like posting on my Facebook page I posted hey I'm a virtual assistant if anybody's interested this is what I do I can help you with this and this I launched this thing at the beginning where it was $10 an hour virtual assisting for up to five hours. And so it was like some sort of special that I was doing to get people interested in hiring me. So someone did take me up on that offer, one of my Facebook friends, and it was $10. So that was what I made in January. Now in February, it really started to pick up. All of January, I was looking for um, sort of like virtual assistant jobs. I was on the virtual assistant savvy page, which with Abby, if you um, are interested in virtual assisting, I highly recommend like going on her website and checking out all her free resources. She also has a paid class to teach you how to be a virtual assistant and I will post that link down in the description if you are interested in taking that. I personally did not take the class. I wanted to do everything basically as free as possible, but I did get all of her free resources and I joined her Facebook group. I was constantly in that group looking for people who are hiring for virtual assistants and I was having a lot of talks with different companies um, who wanted to hire out a virtual assistant and one of those did hire me for the month of February and I had a client discovery call with her in January but she hired me for February and that was my first like big client and she paid me $350 that was what I charged her for 10 hours of work and I did a lot of social media management I also got paid $1750 for this client when she was looking to hire me it was between me and another candidate and she wanted us to do a test marketing plan and she did hire us and pay us for this like trial period and then later on that month i noticed in a facebook group i'm in that is for women who are business owners someone was asking if anybody did copywriting and that was something i was interested in i hadn't really like formally really said I was doing, but I just put my name in the hat and sent her my portfolio and she did end up hiring me to do copywriting. I charged her $50 for that. And then she actually, after I was finished, she asked me if I could actually just put it on her website and change her website. And thankfully I do have website design experience. And so I just went into her website and changed all of her copy and I charged her $70 to do that. Another person on that Facebook group saw my comment and she actually reached out to me to do copywriting for her LinkedIn bio profile. And so I charged her $50 to do her LinkedIn bio profile. In total, for the month of February, I made $537.50. Pretty good, I felt like, um, but I was really seriously like on these Facebook groups every single day. And I was having a lot of discussions with agencies and people who wanted to hire out, but I kind of realized in February that a lot of people who are doing this, they are not gonna pay very well. I kind of was kind of going through in my head like, do I wanna work for these companies and like have them more stable? Because by this time I was getting 
pretty exhausted of constantly trying to find clients like every single day. It was taking over my life. I also started a marketing course during this time and I also was um, picking up in grad school. I was not looking for clients as much towards the end of February. In March though, I did get a couple of clients. One of my Facebook friends um, wanted me to edit a memorial video for her husband who passed away. And so I charged her $35 to do that. I had one more client in March and that was a nonprofit, a local nonprofit hired my husband and I to do a video for their organization and so we did like the video production and the video editing and we charged $350 to do that. Uh, so that's not really virtual assisting but I charge it and I put like all the money into my business account because it's kind of side income. In total I made $385 for the month of March. So in total for my first three months as a virtual assistant, I made $932.50. So can you make money as a virtual assistant? Absolutely you can. The thing that surprised me the most when I started the virtual assisting kind of business thing is that there are a lot of people looking for virtual assistants. So you absolutely can make money as a virtual assistant. However, however, <laughs> So while I made $932.50 in total, there are some things to keep in mind, and that is taxes. As a sole proprietor or an LLC or basically an independent contractor, you have to pay taxes. And so I put 30% into a separate fund to just save for taxes. My taxes out of that $900 was $279.75. And also, when people pay you, they're gonna likely use something like PayPal or Stripe or Square or just any of these sort of companies, like online companies to pay you, and those companies charge fees. And so PayPal, that's how I was getting all of the money from clients mostly, they charged me a fee and out of that $932.50, they took out $30.85. Now you're like, okay, well now you still have some money. It, you're still making money as a virtual assistant. Oh, but wait, there are also costs of doing business that I think a lot of people don't realize. So like, paying for your website. That is something that is the cost of doing business. For me personally, I had a list of things that I knew I was gonna have to pay for in the future. I really wanna get an accountant next year because this is my first time having a business and I wanna make sure I do my taxes the correct way. And so I put $300 aside <laughs> to have an accountant next year. Another cost of doing business is the computer that I use as a virtual assistant. What happens if that computer gets broken? Then I'm gonna need to fix it. And so I have a savings fund just in case I need to replace the computer. All in all, my, what my goal for savings was about a, a little over $1,000. So while it seems like you have a lot of money when you're starting out, you do have to pay for taxes. You have to pay fees for things. You also should keep in mind that you're gonna have to save for certain things. Um, I ended up taking 50% of each like payment and putting it into savings and then the rest I took for profit. So in total, my profit as a virtual assistant for three months was $155.65. Yes, you can make money as a virtual assistant, but you do have to keep in mind that there are costs of doing business and costs to being a business owner that a lot of people don't think about. I do think that you can make a lot of money as a virtual assistant, but from what my experience, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, and it does take some hustling, so to speak. I actually talked to about three or four agencies and they did send me offers of wanting to be a virtual assistant, but the payment was so low. However, I have to know that I also have a full-time job, so I know that I can be choosy and picky when it comes to what sort of like 
jobs that I take. Somebody obviously who really is desperate for money, they might, you know, go for lower paying jobs because they need that money. But again, keep in mind, you're gonna have to be paying for taxes. All in all, this experience has really taught me that I really respect business owners a lot more <laughs> because it's hard. It's hard constantly trying to find clients. That's my experience my first three months as a virtual assistant. That's how much I made, where I found clients. And again, if you guys are interested in becoming a virtual assistant and wanna learn more about it, I'm gonna post Abby's like course in the description if you guys want to check that out she also has some free resources and by the way she did not tell me to say this i just actually found her on google and just have enjoyed her so much she also makes youtube videos so i'll see you guys next video bye